and Baruch to Yahweh Barakatha, Yahweh Shah, Baruch to Yahweh Barakatha, Yahweh Shah, Ba Hashem Rekakwadash. The honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled, Your Schemes will never succeed. Again, your schemes will never succeed. Isaiah 13 and 2. Lift you up a banner, referring to the scriptures, on the high mountain, referring to America. Exalt the voice unto them, meaning speak loud and clear as you are prophesying on the highways and the byways. Shake the hand, which is a characteristic or an attribute of a prophet when he is in the spirit, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. The nobles referring to the upper echelon of Edom. Hence, the international bankers that control this entire system. Okay, so the word has came into the gates of the nobles, meaning Esau slash Edom going into their nobility is watching and they are extremely concerned. At this time frame, they are attempting to stop the prophets from prophesying. And their entry point is where? Canada. As you can see, according to WashingtonTimes.com, Canadian measure would remove free speech protection from quoting Bible sacred text. Published March 1st, 2024. Legislation introduced in Canada's Parliament would eliminate the use of belief in a religious text as a defense against hate crime charges. Eve Blanchett, leader of the minority bloc Quebecois party, submitted the private member bill defined as a measure not sponsored by a cabinet minister or parliamentary secretary in November and again last month. The measure received an initial reading in the lower chamber, but no action has followed. Mr. Blanchett said when he introduced the bill that its purpose is to allow authorities to prosecute anti-Semitic speech. The measure is needed to refrain from giving inappropriate and undue privileges to people within a society who use them to disturb the peace and harmony. Okay. This is reflecting Isaiah 13 and 2. That they may go into the gates of the nobles. And the nobility of Edom is trying to stop the word beginning with the country Canada. Okay? And eventually, this is going to spread to America as well as throughout the four corners of the world. Especially if those privileges enable people to sow hatred or wish death on others based on a belief in some divine power. This is a target towards the prophets, okay? This is a target towards the prophets. He told Parliament, all right? So at the end of the day, there's nothing Esau can do because Esau is controlled by Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Let's go to 
Psalm 21 and verse 11. For they intended evil against you. They imagined a mischievous device going into what? The NWO. All right. Which they are not able to perform. Let's read this in verse 11. Although they plot against you, their evil schemes, such as the NWO, will never succeed. Period. Let's go to Psalm 25 and 15. My eyes are ever toward Yahweh, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. What is their net? This system. This system. Okay? And you, you're going to have two-thirds of our people to submit to this system when the karagma is mandated. Okay? And, and the non-elect outside of America. Let's go to Verse 22, redeem Israel, O Most High, out of all his troubles. And we are approaching what? Jacob's troubles. Okay? Period. And that mandate of the Karagma is another strait, which means a position of difficulty. Psalm 31 and verse 4. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me, for you are my strength. And best believe, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah is going to protect his elect. Okay? And he's going to give his elect via the Holy Spirit faith, okay, and integrity, and the belief to prevail no matter whatever they go through, and some of the elect will have spiritual power. Let's go to Psalm 33 and verse 10. Yahweh bring the counsel of the heathen to naught. Now, what is the counsel of the heathen? Let's go to Psalm. Eighty-three and verse three. They have taken crafty counsel against your people. The most highest people are Israelites, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans, and consulted against your hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Okay, so ultimately, all right, this is what they truly want. And there are attempting to attain the new world order to fulfill this objective. Okay? Back into Psalm 33 and verse 10, Yahweh brings the counsel of the heathen to nothing. He make the devices of the people of none effect. So Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, will never allow Esau to attain the new world order. The only new world order that is coming is from Yahweh Shai. Okay? Lord, will you edify Shalom?